Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I want to talk a little bit about lead source tracking. And if I'm being 100% honest, uh, this is not something I'm great at. It's not something that historically I've, I've done really well. It's actually, it's actually one of the very few topics in Infusionsoft that I've just sort of avoided because it's kind of technical and kind of tricky and, and um, you know, I just haven't been super comfortable with it. But um, sometimes talking about the things that make us uncomfortable uh, helps us get more comfortable with it, or maybe that's where the most value ends up coming from anyway. So let me show you what I'm working with here. So what I've got is a, uh, a lead capture, a landing page here for an Infusionsoft audit checklist. So if you you know have used Infusionsoft for a while, you know how your app can accumulate tags and you know test campaigns and dummy contacts, and it's important once in a while to clean those out just to make sure you don't have a whole bunch of um, discrepancies when it comes to your data and reports. So here is my app audit checklist. And once in a while, people stumble onto this from my website um, or from my various email campaigns where I mention it. Uh, but largely and, and lately specifically, I've been sending traffic there from Facebook ads. Uh, but I didn't really have a good way of tracking how my Facebook ads were doing because I couldn't tell which leads that opted in through this landing page came from Facebook and which leads came from uh, you know the other traffic sources. So here's what I've done. Um, I've created a few lead sources in Infusionsoft and you can do this under uh, marketing lead generation. Uh, and the cool thing about lead sources is you can also assign expenses to it. So this is the app audit Facebook ad and I've spent about $65 on it over the last uh, month or two. Um, so I created this ad and it's uh, it's got lead source ID 268. Okay, that's going to be important here in a moment. So this is a lead page. I'm using lead pages and uh, lead pages is integrated with, there you go, you can see the opt-in, is integrated with Infusionsoft through this particular web form. So this is my delivery campaign for the app audit checklist. Okay, so what I did was I added a hidden field to this web form. Uh, for lead source ID and you can see that there's nothing in this lead source the reason that's important is because when somebody comes to this page their lead source uh, you know it doesn't need to necessarily be hard-coded to one thing but I wanted that empty lead source field there as a container um, so the reason that I wanted a container there is because I've got a Facebook ad and you can see the ad here uh, grab this 21 point checklist uh, and and down here you can see the URL I'm sending them to. So at the end of this URL, I've got a, a question mark, LS equals 268. Um, and there's a great video uh, from Blick Digital on how you can uh, pass information from, uh, from a URL to a lead box or a lead page and then into Infusionsoft. So I just followed that tutorial. Uh, you know, you can you can look it up. Blick Digital is a, a friend of mine, Brett Farr, and, and he does a great job explaining it. So so that's what I did was I basically just tacked the lead source onto the end of this. So if you remember, uh, I had lead source 268. So uh, that's right on the end of this URL. So if you add that to this page when you load it, once somebody fills it out and they end up in Infusionsoft, their lead source is going to be set to lead source 268 so that I can tie that lead to this particular lead source and therefore to the expenses that I have here. So if we look at the number of people who have filled out this form, um, you can see I've got 37 over the last 30 days. Uh, and over here, I've got all the various lead sources uh, for those contacts. Um, now, let's see, here we go. So there are the app audit Facebook ads. So th those are the, the, whatever it is, 15 or 16 or so that, that have come through this form and came from a Facebook ad. You can see that some of these other people have lead sources from events that I went to or from Google. Um, and the thing to remember about lead sources is um, it, it is set the first time somebody comes into contact with your brand. So uh, a lot of these people may have already been in my database and then they saw the Facebook ad or maybe they're in my database and, and then they, they click on you know an email that I sent them and they opt in. So this isn't necessarily, the fact that they downloaded this ebook or this checklist, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're brand new to me. So that's an important distinction and, and it, that is the probably the biggest hurdle I'm having with measuring ROI on this. 
Uh, there's a report, the, the lead source uh, ROI report, if you go under marketing reports, uh, and you can see my app audit Facebook ad here. $65 is what I've spent. Uh, I have a negative 100% ROI. Uh, there are 16 contacts that it has produced. So I'm basically paying uh, $4.06 per contact and 0% of those people have converted to customers. So that's not great. Um, but the, the, the challenge for me is uh, I only know that 16 new contacts have been created. That's the challenge that I'm running into because there may very well be people who have opted in and have purchased but this wasn't their initial touch point. So their lead source wasn't set to app audit Facebook. So there are definitely some shortcomings uh, in, in my setup here. I would love to hear how other people are solving that uh, because lead source is supposed to be just the first interaction they have with your brand. Now, uh, just for uh, to, to juxtapose this, I do have a, a Facebook blog ad going and it's really similar in how it's set up. You can see I've spent $38 on that. Uh, the, the ROI is 300% or 400% because uh, it has earned $175. So eight contacts, that's half, but uh, half the other one. Uh, but 25% of those have already become customers. So so you can see that there's some, there's some meaningful lessons that you can extract from your lead sources and from the, the ROI you're getting on these different advertisements. Uh, it's not perfect. There are some, some things that I still need to refine and figure out, but this is something that I wasn't doing a year ago. And um, it's it's empowering to know that in a short period of time I've been able to to take some things and that were technical and intimidating and and put them to work for me and my hope is that this conversation will shed some light on it and make it feel a little bit more approachable for you as well. But if you have lessons you've learned or, or tactics that you're leveraging that I could I could learn from, uh, I just wanted to start a conversation and, and see where it goes. Take care.